Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Lavender Town Suicidal. We're going to be doing a bit of a, sh a quicker video now, because uh, I did the, the longer one earlier, and it's like quarter after nine at night right now. Got a little bit carried away with uh, the Christmas stuff, and I'm tired, honestly. I'm tired. Christmas is a, is a tiring day for me. Um, kind of didn't go that great. I, uh, I, you know, wasn't included in the, um, festivities early, which was, you know, kind of a letdown. And then, uh, they kept, like, trying to, like, you know, guilt me into playing with them, like, board games and stuff, and I'm like, I just don't really wanna, you know? Like, it was, it was just a few hours after I had woken up, and I'm like, I just, I wasn't included in, like, anything else. I don't really care to go play board games. Like, I can't talk to people. You know, like, board games really aren't that fun <laughs> when you can't talk to people. And it's like, normally I'd go do it so that everybody else has a good Christmas, but I'm like, you know, today they couldn't even wait, like, a half an hour for breakfast, so... <laughs> I'm not... You, know, you, you can't wait half an hour for breakfast, I'm not gonna go play games for an hour, you know? Like, the... the, the it just seems like a bad trade to me, so... Um, I just kinda ended up playing Terraria all day and, and didn't really worry about, uh... any of the Christmas stuff too much. Where the heck did he go? Running by here. Um, we had steak and crab today. I, I cooked my own steak. They were gonna barbecue theirs, and I'm like, nah, I, I just no. So I. Uh, Stuck it in the oven, you know, 250 for like 30 minutes or something like that. Got it up to about 120-ish. Seared it in in a nice, you know, scalding hot. Well, not scalding, that'd be water. Um, but scorching hot, you know, cast iron skillet uh, that I forgot to wash, I think. Uh oh <laughs> Oops. Um, I don't remember where it is. I'll have to go do that after this video, I guess. Um, make sure that it's safe. <laughs> you gotta take care of your cast iron stuff, otherwise it's a pain in the butt to fix. Yeah, I forgot to buy guns. What am I doing? This is why I want to finish up early today, okay? Because I, I, I left the 1858s on. They're fine, but like, they're not that great. Um, anyway, yeah, I finished it up in the, in the cast iron skillet. Nice sear on it. Basted it in butter. You know, as you, as you do when you want a good taste in uh, steak. They were a little bit too thick, honestly. Am I, like, jammed into the ground here? A little bit too thick, but it was, it was a good steak. It was a poor cut of meat, you know? But I, I did what I could with it to, to make it as good as I could, and it turned out fine. It turned out fine. You know, the beautiful thing about the reverse sear is... Um, it's, it's like a nice even cook throughout it, and uh, you might be wondering, like, or, or thinking, you know, like, hey, it's it's the, you know what what's the matter if you sear it before or after you stick it in the oven? Well, the thing is, is when you you stick it in the oven first, then you you bring it up to temperature first, you know, like the whole thing comes up to temperature slowly, and uh, I don't even think like I think I went to the trader and I just ignored it when I was there. I don't know. I upgraded it? <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway. Um, the thing about the reverse here is that it comes up to temperature slowly, so like, when you when you pull it out after like half an hour or whatever, it's not seared on the outside. It's like, fairly consistently, you know, at that temperature throughout the whole thing, because it brought it like very, very slowly, right? Um, so the surface is very, you know, it's already hot. You have your cast iron pan that's already hot, er, even. And, uh, the surface of the, the steak is, like, dry because it's been in the oven. So when you stick it in the cast iron skillet, you just get that nice Maillard reaction. You don't have to, like, boil off all the water first. You don't have to raise the temperature first. Like, you just stick it in and it's, like, seared, you know? Whereas, uh, if you do it beforehand, you have to, like, leave it in the pan a lot longer to sear it. Which raises the temperature of it, and you get that, like, gradient of, of doneness throughout the, the whole steak. 
which is fine, I guess, but not as good. Unless you have, like, a stupidly hot oven. Like, if you're cooking it at, like, you know, 800, three, like, 900 degrees or something like that, like, that's one thing, <laughs> you know, but I don't have, like, a professional oven here, you know, I don't have a professional stove top, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's garbage what I got. I, uh, I had to use a different burner than I normally use. And uh, I don't, well, one of the burners, one of the, either the burner that I normally use or the burner that I uh, used today is is not good. Because <laughs> I had it in the I had I had the the cast iron skillet like preheating right because you want your skillet to be hot. Okay, you want you want to have all that heat in it because it takes a while for it to get hot and you want to be able to put it in and for the temperature of the steak to not like cool down the skillet too much you know so you put it in and it's just like sizzling right away you know that's what you want. Um, but when I put the butter in to start, uh, melting it and, like, basting the, the steak, it just, like, smoked up the whole house immediately, and I'm like, oops! Alright, slightly too hot, so I had to leave it, uh, off the heat for a little bit to cool it back down. But, um, it turned out fine. It was, it was still tasty, you know? I'd have, uh, I'd have preferred if we had more veggies. We had some, like, stir-fried peppers. Not really so much my thing. Um... Then we played some drawable afterwards, after dinner. And, uh... Or drawful, I guess. Drawful 2. It's a Jackbox games thing or whatever. It's fun. I like it. But, uh... Yeah, ultimately just kind of like a, a meh Christmas. Although Christmas is generally pretty meh. Honestly, like, I kind of look forward to it, but... At the same time, I, I, I don't know if I should be. You know, I kind of fool myself into thinking that it's going to be fun, and then every year I just... Hello? Every year I just kind of end up disappointed with it anyway. So I, I, I should just kind of, like, go into it expecting it to not be so great. I'll probably have a really good Christmas once I move out. Honestly, like, my life in general will probably be a lot better once I move out. Birthdays, Christmas, you know, once I have more control over my life. Um, and, like, what I do and stuff. Just, like, it'll be, it'll be a lot easier for me to make sure I'm doing things I want to do, you know? be a lot easier and uh, I look forward to that I look forward to that whenever it happens I'm hoping I'm hoping by next Christmas I'll be on my own but uh, it's a big if you know even, even if a uh, YouTube thing works out you know in the next few months or whatever even if it works out uh, the, the bottom line is um, I don't know if, if you know even if it works out I don't know if I'm gonna have the money by next Christmas to be able to like responsibly buy a place or like wrenching a place or whatever you know like I, it has to be working for a while you know so like I don't I don't know we'll uh, we'll see I'd love if it did though because being able to, to move out get my own place it's uh, it's it's such a freeing experience I think anyway I've I've, uh, I've lived on my own a little bit when when our house flooded I had my own hotel room which is kind of living on my own um, I didn't have, like, responsibilities. People bought me food and stuff, but, like, the experience of being able to just, like, wake up and not have to put on clothes and, like, go to the bath and not have to, like, close the door, get up and not have to worry about, like, people seeing me. And, like, just, just the freedom of, like, not having to worry about other people being around. Very, 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 very nice. And then, and then of course, you know, the freedom of not having to like, put up with other people being around. Also gonna be very nice, I'm sure. Um, whenever it happens, you know? Someday. Someday. In the future when I live in my own. I hope I can buy a house, you know? I don't want to live with a roommate, is the thing, right? Because it'd be it's so much easier if, you, if you're okay with living with roommates, it's so much easier to afford a place to live, you know? I, uh, I just, I don't want to. You know, the way I see it is, like, I can go and live with a roommate, yeah. You know, I, I, I could afford to do that, like, easily. Like, that that wouldn't even, like, be a, pro a problem. Like, that that would be very, 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 very simple for me to do. I wouldn't even have to get a job. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd be able to, like, I can afford that if I if I have a roommate. Just, just, just now, you know? Like, it, it would be fine. Completely fine. Um, the issue for me, though, 
Especially if it's like, uh, well, no, the a roommate would make it very easy for me to, to afford it. Uh, it's just I don't want to live with a roommate. I wouldn't mind living with like a, a long-term romantic partner. You know, get a one-bedroom place, live together, you know, prospects of getting married eventually kind of thing. But like, that doesn't happen, uh, you know, in the next month or two. In the next year, it probably won't happen. You know, like I'd, if, if I got together with somebody like, in the next month or two, we, you know, maybe a year from now, we might be like thinking about it, right? <laughs> but like, I, I feel like you don't generally uh, move in and, and make that level of go- of a commitment in the first like few months of dating, you know. So just just realistically, it's not even not even not even being like self depreciating about it, you know. Just just realistically looking at the the not, like the days there, it seems unrealistic. <laughs> Um, but like, you know, if you do that, you can get like a one bedroom place and it's like even easier to, to live on your own. But I just, I don't want to live with a roommate and I don't have anybody to, to live in a one bedroom with. So I have to, uh, save up. And it's like, you know, if I'm going to be living with somebody who I don't want to live with anybody, like just live here. It's the same thing to me. So that's kind of my outlook on it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you all had a good Christmas. It's probably, it's not Christmas for you anymore, but I uh, hope you had a good one. Still Christmas for me for the next few hours. But uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. I said that a few times. Bye bye.